Hey, you. Yeah, I'm talking to you. You legend, you. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. And today we have an Apex Legends video for you. And boy, oh boy, do we have a lot to talk about. But before we get into the meat of the matter, could you do me a solid and like the video? It helps out the channel a lot. And if you're new here, consider subscribing and hit the bell so you never miss an upload. All right, guys, let's get into it. So it's getting to that point in any Apex Legends season where things are getting a bit dry and we need something new to get us up and running again. And no, 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 we don't mean Viagra. <coughs> hey, I thought it was funny. <laughs> Anyways, a couple days ago, Play Apex's Twitter page posted this. And then a day later, boom, the new event was announced with a trailer. That's right, guys. The Genesis Collection event is coming. It begins June 29th and runs until July 13th. Now, there will be changes coming to both the BR mode and arenas. Let's talk about the BR mode. We are all customary to the standard goodies with any Apex Legends event. But if you're new, well, we get a bunch of stuff. First, we are getting back the OG Kings Canyon map and the OG World's Edge. I really like that they're bringing back both of these maps so that newcomers can get to experience the areas where we all had our first battle and fell in love with Apex. This just shows how much they listen to the community. Number two, there will be 24 timed cosmetics coming to this new event, both weapons and legends. There will also be new banners, dive trails, emotes, etc. Both free and paid. Some of the new skins, the more memorable skins, will be coming to the likes of Loba, Crypto, Revenant, Bangalore, Gibraltar, Valkyrie, and Horizon. Thirdly, Revenant is finally getting his heirloom. And dare I say, it is the best looking heirloom I have seen so far in the game. It fits Revenant's persona so perfectly. I mean, just look at it. The Soul Reaper, it makes the Death Sight's beam sight from Gundam Wing look like a little glowing toothpick. Well, maybe not that bad, but yeah, you get it. The only way to get this is to buy all 24 event packs. Ouch, I need to find me a sugar mama. Number four. What would an Apex Legends update be without some legend balance changes? Now the main legends getting buffed slash nerfed include Revenant, Octane, Lifeline, Bloodhound, and Watson. Number 5. Weapon balance changes are also coming for the likes of the Spitfire, P2020, the 3030 Repeater, and the Longbow. And lastly, with any Apex Legends update new event, there is always quality of life changes and a number of bug fixes. Now let's talk a little bit about arenas. So arenas changes are really interesting and it's probably my favorite mode in Apex since it has been released. I'll be doing another video exploring all the changes in depth so stay tuned. Some of the changes coming to arenas include a new map. Remember that tweet I showed you earlier? Well, they weren't bluffing. Skulltown is now an arenas map. And it will be very interesting to see how this map plays in arenas mode. There will be weapon price changes coming to arenas mode. If you don't know arenas mode, Crafting materials are used to purchase weapons and other abilities in the shop before the match begins. They've decided to adjust some of the weapon prices. They've also decided to adjust some of the utility perks such as Arcstar, grenades, medkits, and shield cells and batteries. The next change coming is that there is also going to be an adjustment to the legend's abilities. 
So the prices for those abilities will be either increased or decreased depending on the legend. There will also be some legend ability balancing in arenas mode. For example, if you buy your ultimate ability, there's a cool off time. You have to wait for at least one or two or three rounds before you can purchase your ultimate ability again. And there is also other quality of life changes and bug fixes. So what do you guys think? Drop your thoughts in the comment section below. Me, I'm personally looking forward to the arena's changes. I'll leave a link in the description for the trailer, the dev update video, and the patch notes if you want to have a look yourself. Thanks for watching the video guys and remember to hit that like button if you enjoy the content and subscribe for more. Big up yourself, stay safe, and bless up legends. Sniper Immortal Gaming, signing off.